Hey WinTech Warriors, today we will demonstrate how to enable and use the CMT Diagnoser to read device registers and change windows. To enable the Diagnoser, navigate to the Remote tab within System Parameter Settings and click the checkbox in the Diagnoser section. Here, you also have the option to password protect the Diagnoser. I'll choose Password Free for this example. After enabling the Diagnoser, download your project to your HMI. You can access the Diagnoser in Easy Builder Pro within the Tool tab. In the Utility Manager within the Analysis and Testing tab. Or by right-clicking CMT Viewer or CMT Viewer Simulation. After launching the Diagnoser, you'll see all of the active CMT series HMIs on your subnet. However, you'll only be able to use it on HMI programs with the Diagnoser option enabled. Let's select our HMI to see the Diagnoser in action. In the Object tab, you can see the objects and their values for the HMI's current window along with global objects and objects contained within your project's common window and by double-clicking these values, you can write data to them. A value of polling may mean that a device is disconnected, a tag does not exist or that it was changed, or that the HMI is trying to reference a register that doesn't exist or isn't declared within the PLC. Using the drop-down list, you can change windows on the HMI. Watch as I change a few object values within our project. This change is reflected within the Diagnoser. Next, I'll navigate to another window using the Diagnoser. The Diagnoser is an excellent troubleshooting tool, and this video only scratches the surface of its capabilities. We'll explore these capabilities in future tutorials. Thanks for watching this quick tip from WinTech USA support. Check out our forum at forum.wintechusa.com for more info on our software and products.